are you? Okay. I'd just like to say um, hi to, um, my name's Nick Watchorn from NMPG, people who don't know. Just like to say thank you so much for joining us tonight. And um, before we start, under the GDPR rules, I have to inform you that we are videoing this. And if you do not want to be videoed, please could you leave now because your faces sometimes come up on the screen. And Leanne, where you gone? Leanne, no, no, you got to stay. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Oh, no, I think I'm I just joking. pop up when I talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's really just to say thank you very much, uh, Leanne, for coming on and arranging it. And tonight, um, I'm really quite excited. From a point of view that we've got um, Leanne from Juicen, who are, is our account manager, and whether she's working from the office or working from home at the moment, yes, that she is 100% working with LMPG, and two, three times a, a week, she works solidly from the office. And for, so from an exciting point of view, that the business with Juicen has gone up around 30 to 40% in the effort that Leanne has put in and the compliments that she's been getting on Facebook has been tremendous. And Leanne, on a serious note, I'd really like to thank you for all your effort that you've put into our members. And I know that they are really grateful as well. And Leanne have always come, me and Leanne have been talking and uh, Jusons on what's the next stage. And I've said it would be great to get the tour hire on board. And she went, yeah, but it's not our sector. We've got to bring in um, people like Trevor Chapman and Helen Dawson to agree in what they've put together for us. And they've come up with a spectacular deal. And I'm going to come straight in with that. And before I do, and also the, that's going to be the first part. And the second part is going to be um, build Aviator and I'm really excited about watching and listening to Build Aviator about explaining it and we got Chris Perriman that's the name um, I have pronounced that right Perriman Perriman okay um, yeah, yep and he'll be doing the second part with Juicens about Build Aviator and again it's going to work out costings it plans etc I'm not going to go into it now. I'll let them explain what it does because it'll be a learning curve for me. But just to go on from that, in when you're doing any kind of major refurb and you're put, putting an extension on, the biggest learning curve that I found when I was doing that kind of work was about costs for materials. Is actually getting that right so you could budget correctly um, in what things are going to cost. And if there's a tool out there that can actually help you and guide you, then that's going to be, again, a benefit to members. So I'm really quite excited to wait to that. So really, I'm going to come back to the tool hire. And if you look at Helen's screen, it actually says 65% off a tool hire. You cannot get this at local branches because the maximum they can give you is anywhere between 55 and downwards. And the people who get 55 are spending an awful lot of money. So a system has been set up to take LMPG calls. Helen's going to be looking after, Helen Dawson's going to be looking after LMPG members, and you're going to get a great big, massive 65% off. I am so chuffed with this. Um, I'm excited. I'm buzzing on this 65%. Um, so that's what I'm going to say because I'm going to shut up and I'm going to let Leanne and Trevor Chapman take over. 65%. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Thank you for that. Um, so yeah, first of all, first of all, um, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. The, the enthusiasm as well. I'm, I'm just as excited. Um, so we have Trevor Chapman on uh, call as well. He's one of the regional directors. Um, Trevor, if you want to say hi. Evening, everybody. Thanks, Leanne. <laughs> Most welcome. Hello. Um, and he Helen. Hi. Helen Dawson, are you there? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Good evening. <laughs> so Helen, Helen uh, manages the uh, National Call Centre, uh, which all the LMPG inquiries for Tall High will need to go through. Uh, the process will be to um, email or call the dedicated number. Well, it's not a dedicated number, but the dedicated to the call centre number. Um, they have a... Helen, what was the... Is it Juicen at High... 
hire the lot hire the lot yeah. at juicing.co.uk yeah. apologies it's because i can't see it behind you and i don't know it off the top of my head yet <laughs> Um, that way that Helen's team can apply your level of discount. Um, unfortunately, this cannot be done in branch, so it will need to go through the call center. Helen, would you like to add anything to that on the process? Um, no, I mean, the process, I know you've already um, posted that on the Facebook page. Uh, I think the easiest way really is to either email in to hire the lot at juicing.co.uk or phone the 0800 number which really it spells juice and so it's really easy on a telephone if you remember 0800 and type juice and into your phone um that's the phone number so it's very easy to remember and me and the team at the center can talk you through your options for hire and the id process for cash hires and also credit account hires and we can fully facilitate your order from start to finish so helen if, if a member calls up to your team and says, I'm part of the LMPG. Are whoever picks up the phone, are they gonna know who LMPG are? What they're yes, so they're yes, regardless of who picks up the phone. Yes, all the team are aware of the process. Obviously, at the moment I'm taking the lead on it just to get a grip to how we can alter the process uh, for your members, just to make it a smoother process for them. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, they're all aware because your members are actually already ringing up and emailing in with their um, account numbers for Juicen, the LMPG account numbers. Good to hear. Oh, are they? Is that yeah, going well? Just... Yeah, we've had a, about three or four inquiries so far. Obviously, as you said, it's going to be a slow burner as everybody gets used to the process. Um, but we've had quite a few hires already out of it. Okay, good. And when they order is the process they've got to have their membership number and their card as the id how do i hire products from you um if you've got a credit account yeah. um that's already set up there's no id or deposit obviously we, we need to confirm that they are the account holders yeah. and we have processes in place already for the thousands of account holders that we deal with deal with on a weekly basis uh, slightly different for a cash account holder where they will need to show ID to hire and leave a deposit as security. Yeah. Um, but, but we talk the members through that when they met the inquiry, we run them through the process. Okay. And they leave that with the local branch where they pick up the higher equipment. Yes. Yeah. And if it's being delivered, okay, that you, they've hired it, they want to hire it from you. And because I would say 95% have got cash accounts. That's, that's across the board. I am right in saying that, aren't I, Leanne? So they're going to have to prove ID. Is there any, so even if they're getting it delivered, they've still got to go in the branch, pay the deposit? Yeah. Um, okay. I think a lot of your members also will be wanting to hire away from where they live from their local branch yes. in another part of the country so as part of the center facilitating the hires we can organize and make their local branch aware that they can call into that branch locally and then we can then take the deposit and pass it through to the delivery branch okay can i just again maybe i shouldn't say this but we've got a kind of another way of dealing with it with another organization walsley yeah because you, what, you, what you're do, trying to do is you're trying to check the idea of that person. Am I correct? Yeah. That it's not somebody who's being fraudulent and saying, I'm Nick Watchorn, I live at the address, take the product, and out the door they go. Am I, I am correct in saying that, aren't I? Yeah. Well, one thing that's unique to LMPG members, if I'm a fraudulent person, I'm going to know my home address and I might have his credit card. But the one thing you will not have is the landlord's property addresses. If we gave you access to that under the GDP rules, the contract we've got in, you can log in and they can give you a property address on their portfolio as a, po as a point of reference to that unique member, which will ID them. It, and then you can maybe take the payment, credit card payment, for deposit over the phone that's what we've done 
with Walsley now and they because because all all your companies reinsure the debt don't you that if they you, you're not going to get caught with a two thousand pound bill because you will use your insurance to claim back on that so Walsley actually went to their reassurers to say if we did that are you happy because you're the only person that can log in or Leanne can log in to check the ID of that person so the property address is unique to that person a fraudulent person isn't going to have that would could that work yep in some way because that's unique to that member uh, over to you trevor on that one i'm not saying that's not an yeah, answer i was going to say that might be down to trevor it's something we can certainly have a look at nick but yeah, that's what trevor i'm saying it's unique to that person to yourself because a fraudulent person would have my details, but they're not gonna have a list of their properties. So you could do two or three, if they've got two or three properties, and then Helen goes, no, I'm still not happy with it. Then they make the member go in. I'm, I'm doing this all live and publicly, see, because I'm always looking to improve that journey for the member, yeah? But also I safeguard you, is because you don't wanna be ringing me up and saying, well, one of your members is just nicked a digger, or a, I don't know, a, electric drill or whatever so that we'll put in place some security id that only we know and the member knows could that kind of work because that's what you're, all you really want is to make sure the person buying that stuff or hiring that stuff is the person it is absolutely that, that's exactly what we need Nick. it's just that is that verification so yeah. if the if the LMPG data could be used as a form of ID, then yes, yeah, certainly that would assist us uh, and the members in making sure that um, they don't get embroiled in anything that they're not directly involved with. Yeah. And if you've got any doubts, if we don't let that product go out, yeah? If suddenly you Absolutely. get, it's a brother, yeah, that they shouldn't be using it, but for whatever reason, no, you cut the call and then you let us know and then we'll be contacting the members saying, what's, what's going on here? Yeah, so there's a safety we, we, We'd always use a callback. Yeah, we would always use the call back with the uh, members' details anyway, rather than take uh, an incoming call as gospel. Yeah, and also you can check us, ring us. If you cut, you've got doubt, you can ring us because we've got all their details. Yeah. I, I, what I'm trying I to don't, do is I don't know if the same would apply to the plant hire, though, would it, Trevor? I think that might be slightly different. That's right. For, for large for larger equipment, there would be. But again, we'd still want to. We'd still need to see uh, a proof of hiding insurance. Um, yeah, course, and again, yes, absolutely. there would be some, some checks. The deposit would be. Yeah. But uh, again, we, we, we expect the, the, the in the minority, and, and we deal with that. And, and as Helen said, a credit a credit account facility would would be there for us to do those checks uh, and offer a, that wider spectrum of product for the, for the member. Yeah. So we start talking about containers and portable welfare and security and, and other products beyond the range of juice and tool iron, yeah. but that, that's fully available to those account members. Yeah. So that might be a good thing to look at. And Trevor, if you, if we can talk off mm. offline and um, maybe tomorrow sometime towards back end this week and next week, you can have a look how robust the system is and what information we hold. And you can say, well, I need that and that and that. And if there's something that we know that you say, well, if you've got that information, we can do that. Yeah at renewal or as many mm -hmm. members join because it's about the security isn't yeah. it i totally get that and i totally understand that yes. but what we've got is good enough for members to pay over the phone yeah uh, yes. lmpg member leon's weighed in on facebook on this nick and he said that that suggestion's better for him as uh, sometimes he doesn't go near a branch it's all phone or online and i think that's the crux of it really yeah. It's about making that journey as painful as, yeah? Because painless, painless. Painless, painless as possible yeah. because we're not, we are unique. Landlord's demands are unique and, we, and we're learning that. And, it, and sometimes we try to put a square sure. egg in a, in a round hole. And sometimes it works and, and sometimes it causes real problems. So what we're trying to do is make that a lot easier and again yeah because we've got cash count there's a lot of delivery yeah this could work at branch level in where a, somebody can ring a branch yeah they can you you can id them because you've got the access and say yeah you can order that you've given me clarification ring the branch up say take payment over the phone 
So the member doesn't even have to go into the branch to take payment. That's all bathrooms. We've got two now major hubs and we take about 60 to 68,000 pound a month on just bathroom suites. And that's how it's all paid for. And guess what? We haven't had one fraudulent case because they don't know the property addresses. And it's working brilliantly. And that's all delivered. Or a lot of it is, 90% of it is. So again, can we have a look at that as well? Yeah, very much so. As you say, I think with the with the added safety net of the LMPG data, then yeah, the, the idea and the need for someone to come into branch, if we can avoid that, then we certainly will. As I say, a couple of your members coming through saying it's 12, 15 miles away to the nearest branch. Yeah. Well, that, that, that's time inconvenience. And that's exactly what we're trying to avoid for everybody. All right. Yeah, and because this, this has just come up, just I've just thought of it and how we're using other members. It might take a couple of months to get to that that decision making because everybody's going to go, "Whoa, hold on, we haven't done that before." <laughs> you sure. see what I mean? And suddenly you you've got to look at the robust. Yeah. Great. Okay. No, nope. mm, for sure. Brilliant. Okay, Great, Nick. Thank you. No. All right. You carry on, Leanne. <laughs> Whoever was talking at the time. I was just going to say one of the questions um, that's come up on the chat from Roger is about, it was addressed to Helen. He said, is the price we see on our account on the higher part of the website, the higher cost, or is there another price below this? Um, you won't see your higher rates on the website um, because we're unable to allocate that level of discount to every single account because there's thousands of them. That would be a very manual process. So hence why it is done manually. Um, with Helen and her team um, at point of point of sale. Um, am I right to say that, Helen? That is correct, yeah. isn't it? It's something that... Yeah, currently our websites, do, we're on a 30% promotion if you order online. So, Roger, basically you're getting an additional 35% off those prices quoted online at the moment uh, to take it to 65% discount. So, yeah. Lovely. Well, thank you. That actually feeds into a question that we had on, on our Facebook group, uh, I think yesterday, um, which was the 65% off. What, what price is that off? Uh, is it the online price? Is it a list price? Um, it's a, a list price. If you go onto our website, um, there is an online um, tool hire catalogue that you can download. Mm -hmm. And that, that quotes our list price, or we have the catalogues available in branch, in our tool eye branches to pick, pick up a copy, or I can post one out for you. Um, so that discount is off of our list price. So I say if in the catalogue, if it's £100 a week, you're paying £35 a week. You've got 60, 65% off that. Okay, thank you. Um, I, I had an email actually, uh, on Sunday, I think it was, uh, from a member that said to me, um, is, this, is this deal live yet? Uh, because I think the Juice and website at the time was saying 45%. Um, now, we've updated our website this week to say, with all the information that Leanne's given us upon the Facebook group, um, with the operations that you guys have mentioned at the beginning there, um, and we've, 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 well, we've put all your contact details and, and exactly um, how much people get off as well. So halfway down the, the Juicen page now, uh, there's a bit called Tool Hire and more. Uh, and then we've got all things uh, Tool Hire, all things Plant Hire. But I just wanted to ask you quickly about Plant Hire as well, because that works a little bit differently, doesn't it? Yes, it does. For, for Plant Hire, uh, for mini excavators, dumper trucks, um, to hire those, it's even if you've not got a credit account uh, and credit account holders also need to have proof of hired implant insurance against damage and theft. Mm. Um, it's something that everybody should really have when you're hiring out plant because they're very expensive pieces of equipment um, to repair for accidental damage and, so, and also for theft. Um, so that is one thing that we do insist that the um, hirer has in place. Okay, so stupid question then. How long does it take to get hired in plant insurance if, if you turn around and, oh, I need this by next week? Um, I did it myself a few years ago, actually. I hired a digger um, and it takes, I timed it. It took me two and a half minutes to get a quote online. 
<laughs> and then to convert back to a quote, as long as it takes to put your card details in. So I've I've done it personally, and it, it's very quick. We're going to quote you on that. Yeah. <laughs> and can I just say one thing, Roger Lancaster? Do not give him a JCB for God's sake. He'll take the whole. <laughs> thing. Yeah. And don't give me one either, because I'll take the whole row out. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Roger. I had to get that one in. Oh God, he's going to kill me. I just. Oh, poor Roger. <laughs> <laughs> oh god you can imagine oh, a landlord with a jcb would be on news of 10 yeah the town not row in my case Roger says town not row <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can just imagine uh, on news of 10 member takes out street oh, dear. oh god that's funny but no um so and again just some advice should LMPG members, yeah, because yeah, I fancy going on a digger. Should we? JCBs. I, again, that's just a personal view. I think that's what the insurance is for. And uh, we've got another question on Facebook about that, saying where where do members get that? Um, literally, if you type into any search engine, hired in plant insurance, you'll get a list of 10, 20 companies come up. Mm -hmm. um, Obviously, it's not something we offer as a service, uh, but it's so simple to get. Yeah, I think we it's, can't it's really good. recommend who you who to use either, really. So it would be down to the yeah. I, I, I suspect you might say that. Yeah, yeah. I would, all I would say is if you speak to your current insurance provider, um, and if it could be added onto a public liability or a, a landlord's policy, then that's probably the better way to do it. If it's if it's hard on a regular basis. Uh, Rogers asked, do you need CITB training and qualification to use the bigger stuff? Um, the um, health and safety executive states that it's the hirer's responsibility to ensure <laughs> that a competent person uses the machinery. Yeah. And, and, that's, and that's it. It's as simple as that. We, we, off, we, give, well, we give a familiarisation on delivery. But, but as Helen rightly says, it's, if you're going to get the best from the equipment... Um, in the safest possible way, you would want an, a, a trained operative to operate it. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, even one of those little small diggers that you can get up the side of a house, they're quite yeah. difficult to use. And I've seen somebody go through electric cable. Yeah, mm. yeah absolutely. Because it has to be, is it a foot and a half? Yep, yeah. straight through it. And that makes a bang. Fighting the guy to death. And it wasn't me before someone says, was it really me? No, it wasn't me. I was there. But no. So, okay, coming coming back. So the odds and sods, like the hammer drills, etc., that's going to be really quite easy, especially when you're digging up concrete uh, paths and concrete floors, etc., in the house, or you, you've got damp issues, raising damp. Yeah, like a, 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 chisel, a chisel hammer to take off all the plaster, etc. We can hire all that for you. One of the questions I did I did have, and again I'm asking because that came up in um, last year. Do you do carpet cleaners? Yeah. And do you yeah, do the chemicals and, and that? Yes. Good. Power wash machines, you know, the big jet, the industrial uh, jet, when you're blasting uh, bricks and sand blasters and you do all that kind of stuff as well. We do we do power washers, electric and petrol power washers. Um, we don't do any sandblasting um, equipment. It's a bit okay. specialist. And we don't stop the raw material or okay. the grades of um, glass, sand, or whatever yeah. uh, medium that the people want to use, whether it's timber or brick that trying to clean. So okay. that's, it, it's not something we would offer. Um, okay. We'd certainly, certainly help them try and find a solution if that was the case. Yeah, and spray guns for fencing if they've got, yeah. Um, and do you do spray guns for internal or is that just something so cheap that people can just go and buy it? I think a lot of people go rather than using the contractors airless spray units as you say I think a lot of people are now using the uh, the Wagner type um, in, in electric powered units that, that are freely available and sold on various channels uh, and to be fair the quality of finish is superb. Yeah yeah I, I just wanted to know because I we what happens is that we then get a phone call yeah do you do that do that and we've got a kind of a, because all my team are listening to this um sure but we've got 
some kind of understanding of what's available, what's not. Yes, it's just an understanding, that's all. Plastering machine. Yeah, I would say yes to that one. Members ask, uh, plaster sp uh, spray machines. Again, it's not something we would run in, in our branch network, but certainly let's say if there was an account, we would try and find a, a, a supplier nearby to where your member is, okay. to be honest. Okay. I think that's kind of if we if we can help in that in that stewardship, it may well be something that's hired on its own, or it might be a you know, it might come as part of a contract. Okay, we right. we do quite a bit of um, screed pumps and bits and pieces like that for various other customers. Okay, so yes, the the answer is the likelihood is depending on the location, we may be able to facilitate something for them. Okay. All right, no good. Um, is there anything else we need to be aware of? Not, not really. I think for your, for your members, it's um, it's just if we try to make it as seamless as possible. Helen and the team are there. They're not they're not serving somebody else on the counter. They're not out delivering. They're there. You know, our branch network is pretty strong still. We're still 290 plus locations off in all are in the UK. Um, so yeah, it's it's business as usual. Um, but hopefully for your members, they're, they're getting better value, um, and and that sort of thing. Okay, good point. Can I ask a question make so, just so that members that they know what the process is. So I'm a member, Helen. I ring you, okay, and I'm not going to go ring ring. So I'm going to ring you and go. This is my account number. I want a, a concrete sledgehammer. Yeah, a, a, a hammer. Okay. Yeah. So I want to take my path up. Tell you what I want, and what's now the next process? And let's say that that you take the ID. You've got that. I want to get to where it gets delivered, what's the time span, can I just walk in? That's what I, I really would like to know. Well, while, while you're on the telephone, we can remotely check every branch in the country for their stock and availability for you. So we can confirm that the equipment's there, ready for you if you wanted to collect. Um, if you wanted it delivering, I'd take all the details, save you waiting on the phone. I'd contact the branch, check their avail availability on transport and yep. give you a call back to confirm everything. Um, time scales, it's a very reactive business and we aim to do it the same day if we can. Um, just depends on what piece of equipment you're wanting and where you need it. Okay, now let's say that I've hired it for the week and like every job that we know, that's the week higher and I need it for another two days. That's the, that's the one I want to get to. What happens? Um, if you've hired it as a cash account customer, your deposit covers you for two weeks. So we wouldn't even, we wouldn't contact you um, for an interim payment unless you had it longer than two weeks. Yep. Um, if you're a credit account holder, it's out on hire, you're invoiced at the end of the month or at the end of the hire. Yep. Um, Unless you've specifically said you want it auto off hiring and us to collect on a specific day, um, it will be up to the hirer to inform us you wanted it collecting. Okay. The other question, so let's say, because all hire companies that they will say that that's your weekly rate. Yeah. And do they still get, and they've got it now for two days because you'll do a 24 or 48 hour rate on a product or, or how long you do the rates will they still get i want to make sure is they do they still get the 65 percent off after that week hire yes yep. they get it off for if they have it six months out on hire that is invoiced at 65 percent discount okay the, uh, after the after the week uh, yeah. m most most of the mechanical products will go into like a pro rata rate so it's percentage per day thereafter only on things like acro props um, site fencing uh, would you pay if you had it for a week and two days would you incur a two-week charge most mechanical equipment it's a pro rata so it's a percentage per day thereafter which makes the makes the week full the following week okay fine i got understood that all right I just want to ask questions because that's what you're going to get asked. So if we can answer that and people that watch this, it, it will answer their question. Good. Okay. Uh, just yeah. one thing from me regarding, obviously, if the uh, member wants to take up delivery, um, am I right in saying, is it £15, um, Trevor, Helen, for delivery? It depends. depends on the location. It could, it could be less, um, depending on what it is. 
Um, if it's if it's something larger than we do, obviously we're then beholden to that to the third party supplier. But uh, yeah, yeah, as I say, lo local local delivery is maximum fifteen pounds um, for, for, for for most equipment up to a ton and a half excavator. Yes. If it's a okay, would, that, would that be the collection? Would it? Would they incur a collection charge as well, or is it just the delivery? We do. Yeah, it's delivery and delivery charge and a collection charge. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. 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 No, that's good. Is there anything else, Leanne, that I haven't covered? Anthony, Paul, Hilliard, show your face. Just a, yeah, just a final question from a member then, um, which is ballpark for um, plant hire insurance. Um, 25, 50 quid, 75 quid a day. I haven't got a clue. I've never, never done it. Um, I think it's a lot. I don't, it would depend on the level of Sorry, Helen. Um, I know most companies, if you get a short term policy online, it covers you for just under four weeks. Um, so whether you put it in for a week, or for three weeks and so many days, I think it's the same price they quote you online. Um, mm. Obviously, if you do what Trevor suggested, if it's if you're hiring plant on a regular basis, it works out much cheaper if you get an annual policy. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, you guys obviously don't do the insurance, so I'm not expecting any recommendations or anything. I'm just sorry, Peter Brains. Um, and finally, do you hire genie lifts? We do, yes. Yeah, we have a couple of options for placing um, lintels and bits and pieces. So yeah, we just need to know le le length of beam, potential weight, uh, and access limitations really to make sure we get you the right machine. Brilliant, thank you. Okay. There is a, there's really nothing you don't do, is there? There's funny. a few things, but we'd like to think we cover most people's uh, requirements. You wait. Tomorrow, you're going to get a phone call asking for a snowmaker. <laughs> if you say there's yeah. nothing I won't do, the first call I'll get is a hot air balloon. Yeah, yeah, or a snowmaker. I want my house over Christmas very snowy. Not a bad idea, that. You want to get those in? Oh, don't even go there, Anthony. <laughs> but yeah, no. that, was, that was absolutely fantastic. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. Got, um, Thank you. Build Aviator as well. Um, Hopefully, members, if you've got any more questions regarding tool hire, keep them filtering in and we can always have a chat with Helen and Trevor at the end. Uh, but now, Nick, would you like to introduce, uh, God, I for I've forgotten his name. Chris. Chris, Chris Pierman. Chris Pierman. Sorry, Chris. Oh, no, see, I got that. So just because we're going to split this into two um, on our website, um, I'm going to go through the introduction again, Leanne, and just thank you so people <laughs> start to pick you up and who you are. Okay, um, so hi, I'm Nick Watchorn and thank you very much for joining us tonight. And um, tonight we've got uh, Chris Perriman from Build Aviator and we've got our account mate, uh, manager, Leanne, 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 Leanne Hardy, <laughs> I'm reading it, Leanne. And she works from our offices two to three times a week and she is solely our account manager. She has no other accounts. And I'd just like to say a big, big thank you. Since Leanne's been with us now for two months, what we found is that the business that she's doing is between 30 and 40% increase. We're well on our way in this, over the next 12 months is to achieve over 2 million pounds worth of business. That's phenomenal to where we were. And the pricing she's sorting out, which is fantastic. So Leanne, on behalf of LMPG and the members, I'd just like to say thank you. No, thank you. Thank I've you. thoroughly enjoyed getting to uh, speak to most of your members. Anyway, it's been it's been really enjoyable. Good. Yeah, we're not doing. Um, oh, good. Who does the chat show on TV that people come out and they do it on a Wednesday and he said, "Oh, it goes out on Friday." No, 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 no. I know we were rehearsing that, Leanne. You've got to pretend that we're doing it live. <laughs> that went down like a bloody lead balloon. Oh, you love mind. putting me on the spot, don't you? Yes, I do. So, <laughs> where's Chris? Chris? I'm here. I can't tell. Oh, no, you're going to speak. I'm here. This I'm really excited about because you're going to do a presentation to us as, as well. Yeah. I think this is a absolutely, and please prove me right, that this is going to be a godsend saviour for 
for members who are doing builds, reef, major refurbs. This is not like for a £10,000 refurb. This will be for like 50, 60, 70,000 pound kind of extensions, yeah? And yeah. new builds. Thank you agree it. with me there, Chris? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and that's the kind of business. And we've got maybe five or six um, uh, projects going on at the moment that Leanne's um, kind of working on um, with Build Aviator. And again, I saw this and I went, wow, because Otherwise, I'd have to get a pencil and paper out, uh, Excel spreadsheet, and start going around getting costs, where you are doing a lot of it. And then it gets passed back to Leanne, and then Leanne puts the NMPG terms on it. I am correct in saying that. Yes, you are, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's yes, the exciting but... part. And yeah. that couldn't happen before, but because now we've got Leanne, it can happen. So look, I, I want to ask loads of questions. So I'm going to absolutely shut up. And I'm going to let you do all the talking, Chris, and me. Okay. Right. <laughs> got the slides? Yeah, just loading them up, mate. Right. Evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you for the introduction. Uh, Nick, so I've been working with Leanne for a, a little bit, uh, a few weeks now. Uh, Build Aviator is uh, part of Sanger Band, so we're a sister company to Juicem. Um, as Nick said, my name is Chris Pierman. I'm one of the regional sales managers for Build Aviator. Uh, spent pretty much all my life in construction, uh, either with merchants or on the other side of the desk as a project manager or a buyer, the house builders. So, uh, pretty entrenched. And Build Aviator for me is probably the most innovative thing I've seen come through merchanting in years. It's not really an industry known for innovative solutions, but um, hopefully you'll agree with me that uh, Build Aviator is. So, um, questions, uh, we'll take them as uh, they come. Hopefully, I'll be answering a lot of them as we go along. Um, so, what is Build Aviator? Build Aviator is like having your own internal team of experts to cost scope and deliver your projects for you so you can spend your time where it matters most. And that's really important. Um, all of, most of our customers, well, pretty much all of them, see us as an extension of their team. One they don't pay very much for, to be honest. Um, all the estimators we use, and there's over 30 of them, they're all ex-trades. So there's builders um, with varying degrees of experience and specialities, ranging from bricklayers to chippies, to commercial specialists, loft conversion specialists, new build specialists, we've got site managers, uh, we've got free energy assessors that work in-house for us, and we've got some former building control surveyors that work with us as well. So how do you access the services? Simply, you upload your plans uh, to our online portal, which you can access through the Juicem website or buildaviator.co.uk. Um, yes, can I just ask one question? Sorry to interrupt you. Um, I don't know if it's just me. Could you just raise your voice a bit? Sure. That's it. Computer a bit. Is that any better? Yeah, much better. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yeah, so if you go to juicing.co.uk or uh, Build Aviator website, you can submit your plans to us. Um, it's a very quick and simple website. Uh, just need your contact details, you put your plans in. And within 24 hours, we'll email you back a cost for the service and a turnaround time. Every cost is bespoke to the project. It's generally around about how long it takes the estimator to complete the report. Current turnaround time is eight to nine working days. Um, we don't just do estimating as well. So the estimating report, we can give you a full service offering with materials, profit breakdown, man hours required, and we include a work schedule. So we don't just use your plans. We have a call with you. The estimator will call you, discuss the project, and go through your labor costs and everything like that, what you currently pay for your labor. So it's all fully bespoke to you. Or we can just do a material estimate for you as well, which is cheaper. We also offer additional services. So for new building material change of use, um, any of you guys out there changing houses into flats or offices into flats, pubs into flats, you'll need to get a SAP design done. Um, and we can help, we can do that as well in-house. Um, so we offer SAP design, as-built calculations, and the EPC as well. So you need to perform a certificate at the end of it. And, um, that's a full package that we offer. And we partnered with LABC. So everything we do is certified by local authority building control. So I'll take you through a bit more of the services we offer. So as mentioned, we do build aviator SAP. So SAP is standard assessment procedure. It's the only way the government uh, measures energy performance, thermal efficiency in buildings, domestic buildings that is. Estimating, which ties it all together. Robust uh, registered construction details, which we, we use the LABCs and we've then broken it down with our products. 
Build Aviator Air, so air testing, air tightness testing. At the end of um, new builds and change of use jobs, you need to do an air test to comply with building regulations, and we can offer that as part of our package. And we also have Build Aviator Acoustic through one of our partners, so we can offer acoustic testing. So any new build or change of use, we share a wall or a floor, uh, so houses and flats, semi-detached terrace houses, needs to do an acoustic test, and we can offer that service. We can also offer desktop surveys to get for planning, which you sometimes need. Um, on planning permissions, you need to discharge a desktop study on the acoustic side. We can offer advice. We can offer that service. We can also offer advice on specification. So on our SAP assessments, we'll let you know exactly which projects you need for your SAP assessment. Then with accurate U values, we'll create a full SAP report, including our RCDs. And these are all pre-approved by local authority building control. Something we take very seriously, our partnership with LABC. Um, and airtight is testing, acoustic testing. The main service I think that you're going to be interested in is our estimating service. Until the end of the year, there's a 50% offer available for you guys. So we got those your plans. We'll come back to you within 24 hours for a cost of the service, and that'll be 25, 50% uh, off until the end of the year at the moment. We also offer add-on services such as ventilation testing and water calculations for new homes. So this is an example of an extract from our SAP on-site compliance pack. So when we quote you for SAP, that includes your as-designed SAP, your as-built calculations, and your EPC, that's all one price. We find a lot of our competitors in the market, they'll charge you once for design, and then once for the as-built, and then once for the EPC. When you get a price for that, it's all free included. All the products we use, again, are certified compliant by LEBC. So we really do cut down the red tape um, that compliance can cause because compliance can be a real hassle. If you don't proceed with a compliance SAP design, you really run the risk of falling foul of building control inspectors at the end of the job. And that can really, really run into costly remedials. We've seen some real horror stories where people haven't had a, a proper SAP design done, they won't get signed off. Then you end up putting solar panels on roofs and it just snowballs from there. We can reduce the risk in product specification because we tell you exactly which material you need to use. So there are some SAPs, they won't give you the exact specification of the product. They won't tell you the products you need. So on the right-hand side on the specification, you can see in the first one there, ground floor, 150 mil rectocell urethane GP. In some SAPs in the market, they'll just say, you need to find an insulation that performs to 0.02 watts per meter Kelvin, which doesn't mean a lot to many people, unless you're a physicist or an energy assessor usually. So then you, you or your builder have to go around and try and find that product, which meets that specification. Will you take that risk away? So you reduce the risk, therefore you reduce the risk of non-compliance at the end of the job. All the materials we specify are available locally through Juicen and certified compliant by LBC. We won't specify any products that you've got to wait 10 weeks for from Belgium or anything like that. They're all products that are available now from your local Juicen branch. Do you want me to move on, Chris? Yes, yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> So this is an example of what our estimating service looks like. So in the top right there, you can see the uh, builder summary, which breaks down your profit and your costs in each area. So on material, labor, and plant, we include tool hire, obviously, with our partners in uh, Juice and Tool Hire. So you'll get a full tool hire report for everything you need for the job and how long you'll need it. So you can price it up there and then with your discount um, with um, Helen and Tool Hire and know exactly what you'll need for the job. So it really aids in forward planning your project. So you can manage your, your money as you come in and out, and you can manage when you're gonna need it on site. So every build stage is broken down, as you can see here with villa quantities, and they're juicing product coded. So it makes cost planning and ease of ordering with juicing very, very simple. Saving time and therefore money. We can just move on. We also include a work schedule and completion dates so for each stage of the build what labor needs what labor needs to be on site how long they're going to be for be there for again helping you pro program your labor in and program your material orders and deliveries and we also include a payment schedule which perhaps isn't that relevant to landlords on the call but we do include that for our, our you know our core customer one of the real benefits we're finding since we come back from lockdown and COVID this year and this strange year that we're all experiencing it really aids with forward planning on stock. So as you're probably aware, there's a lot of shortage of 
building materials across the world. It's not a problem in the UK. It's not just a problem in Europe. It's a problem across the world. Um, probably the most well-known have been plaster and plasterboard products. Um, also timber. Timber has been massively in short supply. Um, with North America actually paying twice what Europeans would normally pay for timber to take it over to North America. With this forward planning you get from the Build Aviator service, we can secure your deliveries for you. So if you came to me today and say, I need 200 meters of timber tomorrow, I would probably struggle to get it for you. But if you say to me, I need it in four weeks time, I should be able to secure it 99% of the time, I'll be able to get it for you. And the same with plaster as well. We probably struggle to supply a large volume of plasterboard tomorrow, but in four weeks time, we know when you need it using our service, we'll be able to program the delivery in for you. So um, Chris, Paul, our own Paul Hilliard has put in the chat and you've sort of answered the question there already, but he's asked specifically, do we get priority on things like plaster supplies if build aviator is used and shortages come back? I can't say that you'll get priority, but by over to four planning using your work schedule, we, we can, we obviously we're part of Sangaban, so we work with the Sangaban buying team, the Juicen buying team. So they see what demand we've got coming through on the projects that we're working on. So it enables them to go out to the market and secure supply from allocation. Um, I can't give you priority, but if you came to me and said you needed plasterboard in four weeks, and someone comes to me and says you need it tomorrow, you're going to get the order. Not the mm. person that comes to me and says you need it tomorrow. Or comes so to juice. Is there a protection then for you saying, right, we've, we've ordered that for four weeks time. No one's going to be able to go into that branch and buy it in the meantime because they need it tomorrow yes yeah that'd be standard practice for juice whether you use build aviator or not if you place an order for and it's on allocation that allocation is then to you they won't then take it off you and give it to someone else okay not like bad business practice commercial suicide really it was quite suicidal trying to get plaster <laughs> <laughs> well early on we came back i did see um, on ebay someone was selling a pallet of multi-finish for 1800 pounds so it was like... We had no. one member, he had a little bit, yeah, yeah, he just had a, just a little bit, he needed half a bag, and he brought it, he travelled 60 miles, 70, 60, 70 miles, and he paid £80 for it. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Well, you need to finish the job, you, you'll you just need, do you, it, yeah. guess, but... he, he wanted to finish it, and it was for his own house, and he wanted it, and he was going to pay that. Yeah, this is unprecedented time with, on materials, you know, it's, it's crazy. Um, and who knows what happens with the B word happening next year, but I think we've, it's even more important now to be forward planning your materials in. Yeah, no, I totally accept that. Next slide, please. What's the B word? Brexit. Oh, I think it meant bricks. Come on, Anthony. <laughs> It's got the Christmas oh, jumper wow. on. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so these are some of our customer thoughts. I won't read them all out <clears throat> verbatim. So the, these are real live customers that use Build Aviator and Juicen. Um, I received a call from Build Aviator. This is Steve Parker, Parker Homes. In the first week of lockdown, offering to help with ordering through a difficult time. All I can say is his service has been first class. Having built Aviator on our side meant Juicen could supply us with the materials and we could still provide our essential services. I couldn't ask for a better service. It has made my life so much easier. Sean has been superb and Sean's a member of my team. Um, nothing is too much trouble for him. Another great thing is the service is tied in with Juicen and you can just simply order what I need. So we produce the estimate for you. We send it to you in a PDF report. It also loads into the Juicen trading system. And then when it loads in there, uh, Leanne and her team can access it and apply your LMPG prices. So Build Aviator was important. We, were, we provide the estimate for the project and then Juicen will use your LMPG account to apply your terms and quote you for the materials on those prices. Oh, that's great. I really, really do. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure that you don't buy uh, other people's boilers. They've got to be mine. Mm, oh, yeah. And then Leanne sorts all that out because she'll mark off saying, no, 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 this is what you need to buy. Go buy it there. And she's great like that. Okay. So any questions? I see there's a question coming up there uh, from Paul. Uh, is there a deal where if we use Build Aviator and then source all the products through Juicen, 
do we get refunded the build aviator costs? It's something we could look to do. Yes, we have something that we've, we've done in the past. Normally it's a local decision, a local commercial decision for the juice and branch. Um, but it is, it is possible to. The cost for the services, we look at in relation to, you know, the project, you know, it's hard to give ballpark figures because there's no such thing as a typical three bedroom house you know, these days. And some drawings are really detailed, some aren't. Um, you're looking at, for a new build house, you're looking at under £300 for the estimating service before the discount. So I think with that's the cost phenomenal. Build, of, I, think, uh, I think £300 is a good service. I'm, I, I, I've done this. That's not an easy job. That no. really is not an easy job, costing out a, a build. And I, I, I don't understand why you, you, you see all the uh, self-builds. This would be you, using this kind of product to do your own self-build. Yeah, I think we do, we do wonderful. a self-build package um, that um, includes a lot of things all together, so the sap and the estimate all bundled in. We're also developing our own house types, so you'd be able to buy off the shelf house types with architects' plans, everything like that, so you, you wouldn't have to go and employ an architect, you just want to stand in house types. Um, so yeah, we, we're sort of snowballing ideas with, with Build Aviator. I've never worked in a merchanting company and seen progress as fast as Build Aviator to deliver, to deliver this. Yeah, because, <laughs> You can you go have a, a, a the architect to do the drawings. You've got to lay out the. I, I, it blows my mind this, and I still can't get my head around it because I used to sit there with a piece of paper and pen and write all the costings down. I'll say me. I used to be a buyer and a project manager for a house builder, so I used to sit there doing takeoffs with my scale ruler and you know. Yeah. You know, I used to, to be the, uh, doing stuff. And then I did it, I went out on my own. And that, that is such a big cost. And you never, I, I was really pleased. If I got my costings within 10%, I was over the moon. Even on small jobs. Because things move against you. Something goes wrong or, yeah, the, the cost across the board moves against you and timber goes up or insulation, something moves and it just throws out. Yeah. The, uh, well, um, we, do, we do include a contingency fund at the moment for COVID, so you'll see in the estimates there's a COVID contingency, which we don't really want to take out because prices have fluctuated so wildly this year, so there's, there's, a, there's a percentage that we leave in um, just to cover yourselves. It's, you know, I've seen I think three price increases on insulation alone this year, and timber's just gone crazy. So um, yeah. you know, we, we do sort of forward plan that in there for you. Yeah, and Leanne's been, again, Jason's been really good on that. You've had three price increases, and Leanne's only passed one on to us, and it was the last one. The, the, yeah, so the one last, uh, last month. And I just thanked her again for, for holding them prices down for NPG members. And it's very hard to explain to members what happens behind the scenes, because otherwise we'd be on social media, we're doing this, we're doing that, we're doing that. There's an awful lot of work behind the scenes that Leanne does with me and she's doing off her own back. She has gone through the individual price. Because what normally happens in a merchant is they'll go, well, the price increase is between three and 15%. And they'll just go, okay, we're gonna give a, they'll do the average where the most of the products are being brought and they'll go, right, there's a 9% price increase to cater for the this. Leanne didn't. She went line by line by line on every product and only gave us the price increase that was increased by. Now, some of those were three, some of them were there six, seven, eight, but it was individually done. And that took a, a Leanne an awful long time to do. And people don't see that. And again, and where else would you get? And I'm, I'm, I'm plugging uh, Leanne and, and Juicens here. Where else, anywhere in the marketplace, do you, the landlord, get access to professionals that do quotes, pick the phone up, look at price to see whether it can be moved? Yes, if there's any room across the board. LMPG is not just about, it's, it's really important price and it is so important, it's the number one thing, but also it's what's behind that is the expertise that we are getting from people like you. And I'm gonna mention, um, uh, uh, Johnny from Ju uh, from 
institutions from uh, Walsley that the expertise they're giving our members is really, really good. I'm so impressed with this. Um, I hope you, I hope members get this, that use the service. It will save you so much headache. Yeah, we've got a couple of questions to cover off. Um, if you yeah. don't um, uh, there, is, there is a couple of questions. Go on. You, you want to delay that, Leanne? I think I am. I think my internet connection's a little bit unstable, I'm afraid. <laughs> so on, a, on a, um, Facebook, Spencer's asked, uh, can I order six inch decking on here then? Talking about Build Aviator. Can you order six inch decking? Well, no, he can order six inch decking through, through our, okay. obviously at the normal juice and branch, or he can drop me a message and I can sort it out. Okay. Well, yeah, if we've misunderstood that one, Spencer, just give Leanne a call in and talk to her about it. Yeah. How does it work with regional variations in costs for labour and services? Well, so all the labour um, rates that we use are from you. So the estimator will call you, and it's usually, you know, this, this conversation I can't emphasise enough is really important at the beginning of the job. They'll, they'll need your time for about 20, 30 minutes. They'll send you a text message first to introduce themselves and let them know they're going to give you a call from um, it's a landline number, triple three, double three. So you, you know it's not some, someone trying to sell you, well, it wasn't not PPI anymore, but um, the accident you were in last week tends to be the one that I get at the moment. Um, <laughs> I get that. Yeah, but th this, this conversation is really important. So they'll talk to you about all the labour rates that you, you, you use. So you know, who you're, you know, what your bricking normally charges you, what your, your plumbing and heating rates charge you, charge you. They all come from you. We do use provisional costs or prime cost sums. So, you know, for electrical work and plumbing and heating, you know, we, we would ask, we, we generally put in like, you know, 3,000 pounds for a bathroom or 10 grand for a kitchen. But, you know, kitchen price, for example, can range from five grand to 300 grand. So we are guided you by you. Join, you need to join NMPG. <laughs> I did my kitchen last year, I'm too late. <laughs> Sorry. It's ten yeah, grand for a kitchen. We are guided by the customer uh, on on a labour or labour rates like that. Thank you. Um, Stephen asks, for whom is this service targeted? Is it builders? I'm looking to complete an office to resi development. I couldn't I couldn't make sense of that acronym there. Office to residential development, but had plans to have a contract in place whereby the builders cover all costs. So, primarily, it was a service originally designed for builders to price up projects and use it for tendering. Uh, we also had developers using it to cost plan their projects. Um, so sort of outsourcing their, their buying and surveying departments to some degree. Um, if you have a builder you regularly use, it's a good way to forward plan your materials, also check costs, you know. Um, the, big thing at the, the, moment, the big thing at the moment is, especially with uh, empty shops, is that they're buying like, I know one of the gurus is buying a block of offices underneath. Hello? Did he collapse? Sorry, my damn cat's just moved the screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> That's great, that one is. That they'll buy, like in town centres, what they're doing is they're buying the middle floor and they're turning that into um, apartments. Yes. Yeah, you're getting a lot of that at the moment where they'll yeah so the, i think the guy's asking can i now you use that would that be a good way of sort of yeah. doing the pricing of that costings that's happening a lot as long as there's drawings for the project we can cost it from that and definitely on that material change of use you're going to need to have a sap yeah um, so i really really recommend a sap sap is quite a technical subject you need to have it a lot of times People say, well, the architects say, well, but he does it. Architects do not do SAP. You need to be a certified energy assessor to do it. And I've seen some SAPs that have come through architects because they do stick quite a high markup on it. I've seen them coming at the thousands. Um, and it, there's really no need for it. Um, it's sort of, they dress it up as a re you know, it's a mystical thing. Um, and I've seen some really over-specified SAPs as well. Um, so we've got examples where architects have, over specified by 40% on insulation in the cavity 
And we've got case studies where we've worked with uh, build, uh, house builders and we've taken that out. So we've reduced the amount of insulation, reduced the cavity, gives you money back in your back pocket that he then used to spend on improving the finish, which made the house more valuable, more saleable, and he won an LABC Building Excellence Award off the back of it as well. So, um, yeah, just engage with us. The earlier you engage with us, the, when you've got your design stage on change of use and things like that, we can help you, advise you on how to achieve it. I have seen a, a question come up about various construction methods, so SIPs and so on. Um, we, we, it's not really designed for SIPs. We would, we would PC sum that and then we would go out and get a price for SIPs, so for the, the, the panels and all that from the suppliers in the market. Um, we, the system is designed for traditional brick and block, masonry construction or block and block and timber frame. We have a timber frame company that we work with, that we have um, all the wall types from um, and so on. So we've got timber frame and traditional construction. Brilliant, yeah, the system's designed for that. SIPs, concrete frame, steel frame for the larger developments, you know, more stories, flats, and things like that. We're not really cut out for that. I'll just say that up front now. We're not cut out for steel frame, concrete frame, things like that. Okay, that's good. At least the members know. It's not worth pointing point saying where well, we could and then it becomes a disaster. Yeah, the yeah. members really want to know what, what you can do and what you can't do. Yeah, well, always be honest. Yeah, absolutely. I'm interested in about you. you, you I was right in saying about you do the architect drawings, etc. You can do that. We don't do architect drawings. I say what we, we're working on, and it's just about to come to market, is we have a number of house types. So they're sort of off the shelf house types. So if you have if you have a plot of land, yep. and you want to put a house on it and sell it, but you know, development for profit. Rather than employing an architect to design a house for sale, we're going to be coming to market very soon with uh, three different house types. So there'll be a bungalow, a two-story three-bedroom house, and then a room and roof uh, detached house. And so rather than employing an architect to design it for you, we've got all the drawings ready to go. You buy it, it's from a package from us, and it's not a lot of money. It's under a thousand pounds. You'll get the full architect plans. You'll get the SAP design. You get the estimate, and we'll plot it on our OS map for you for planning purposes. So rather than employing an architect to do a very expensive design, don't get me wrong, I work with a lot of architects, they're great. But if you just want to build a bog standard house and develop it and sell it on, we're coming to market with some standard house types. Uh, you'd be able to basically just sort of buy off the shelf from us. You've got the land, and you just need to add labour and the materials, which obviously will cost it out. But if it's like a standard bog, like drawing, yeah, and it's like that's what that's going to cost, and you've got the you can do the designs and architect drawings on that particular thing. You're coming to market with three, but that can grow really quickly because you could do a standard bog drawing on a hundred different houses. Yeah, well, we're working on quite a lot, um, but the, the, I've seen three already, but I know we're working on more. Good. Um, yeah, we've been we, yeah. so busy. We we do circa 400, 500 estimates a month at the moment. It's been a very busy year. I bet it has. No. Yeah. Uh, your house you want to live in. <laughs> we went from 13 estimators this time last year to over 30 now. So it's a, a rapidly growing business for Sangaban. No, good. No, absolutely. Land, I'm, I'm now, I'm, I've got a totally under, a good understanding, yes, um, of what Build Aviator does. Um, so again, um, is there anything else you'd like to add on that? I'm trying to think of questions to ask. That's why I'm trying but to. For me, I would like to probably touch base on the fact that some people, some of the members might not want to include like the labour costs and stuff. So we do do um, material takeoff as well, which is slightly different. Um, I think that is that free of charge at the moment, Chris, until the end of this yes. this yes. month or the end of the year. The end of the year. The end of the year. So that's that's a free of free of charge. So service um where it will just include you know, that the full builder aviator estimating would but it will give you your your quantified uh, materials list which will then obviously be put onto a ticket and branch and again i will add the lmpg rates to that um so that is an, an added other service that they offer and what's normal price for that 
Um, so currently it's it's free of charge. Um, so for, for the majority, the, there is a caveat to that. If it's a large multi-build project that's going to take our estimator three days to do, we would we would look to do we would probably come up with a charge, but it's it's minimal. To be fair. Um, just on that, the, what we, we call it material only takeoff. Um, you don't get the conversation with the estimator. It is just a takeoff from the drawings, a list of materials in a spreadsheet, and it's loaded into the juicing system. So you don't get the interaction with the estimator. Okay. All right. Question came up there. I think it's about the 65%. Let me just go back and read that. Yeah, I want to... there. What is the price? The 65% is taken off, and how does that compare to trade price? So I think both of those questions were answered earlier on. It's off the list price. Um, and how does it compare to trade price? Well, Nick mentioned at the beginning of the webinar here that um, the branches can only go up to 55% as their top level ceiling. So uh, as always, Nick has broken through the glass ceiling there, and we've got 65%. So That's why you can't go into a branch and order this stuff, because they can't go to 65 The branches are capped. Now, to get 60, sorry, to get 55, you really got to go, they don't want to give you 55. Trust me, they don't. So you'll be haggling. Easy, make the phone call to Helen. The job's already done for you. Why go through that pain? We've got enough pain to go through. Um, so, uh, Helen, you're still here, I see, which is great, because we had another question I wanted to ask you as well, which uh, came through on Facebook. And um, that was de delivery charges with regards to tall and plant height. Are they set across the country or do they differ between branches? Um, it's, we have a standard delivery and collection charge, as Trevor said, the £15 each way. Um, but you have to imagine we cover from the tip of Scotland, Inverness, um, right down into Cornwall and Devon. So say if you're in an area outside of Inverness, you could be 60 miles away from the local branch. So obviously that's why we quote delivery and collection charges when you place your order, when we're giving you a quote. Um, because if you're wanting, say, half a dozen props and you were half a mile from a branch, obviously we wouldn't quote you the standard delivery charge because you're very close to a branch. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. So if it was 60 miles, it would only be £15. Is that, have I understood that correctly? Um, if it was 60 miles, then we would be looking at quoting, obviously, a, a, a charge to cover fuel. You know, it's a, we're running a transit and it depends what you're after as well, whether we're towing a vehicle to take a digger out. Yeah, I don't understand, but petrol's only £4. For the <laughs> 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 yeah. I don't want to get a phone call about delivery charges. Yeah, you got a problem, ring me Anne on that one. <laughs> um, just going back thank you uh build aviator quickly before we sort of move on to what we're doing next week etc etc um i know that paul hilliard used this himself our operations director paul um i don't know whether you want to jump in with your own experience of of build aviator yeah, thanks, uh, Anthony. Uh, yeah, Chris, uh, your team were absolutely superb. Uh, going back probably about 15 months ago, uh, just after we met, uh, probably about the same time as when we met Trevor, just after the meeting in uh, in the Derbyshire Hotel. Um, I got a big, big project uh, costed up by you guys, and uh, it, uh, yeah. Definitely worthwhile. I wholly recommend it uh, as a very useful tool for landlords, whether you, you know what you're doing or you, like me, you don't know what you're doing. So there you go. Uh, and it was a relatively painless uh, process. So yeah, uh, absolutely superb uh, uh, service and highly recommended. Thank Great. you. No, thank you. We got the uh, LMPG prices on there. So uh, yeah, super. No good. No. So Can I questions? just add one one thing to the build aviator thing? Obviously, um, when when we apply the LMPG rates, I will review the whole quote again. Uh, that's purely because obviously I want to make sure that the um, your members are getting the best price possible. So where they may, um, depending on obviously what is on the quote itself, they may have two hundred sheets of insulation, for example. Where I would then go away 
see if we could get the cost down slightly, maybe have that delivered direct so the cost would come down slightly. Um, so it would get reviewed a second time as well, just to ensure that you members are getting the best value for money. And I don't want to talk about prices, but you did that on a build aviator that the, what the trade was going to get. And am I correct? And tell me if I'm wrong. Did you knock off a bill from from when you got it around fifteen to ten thousand pound? Yes. I made that up. Please tell me if I've made that up. No, I did. No, yes. I, yes. But that, yeah, but that was that was from the prices that came through as it was on the ticket to yeah. then convert it to the LMPG rates. Yes, it did knock off uh, a considerable amount. <laughs> we don't, don't say the member's name, but can you give me that figure? Can you remember? Because I'm sure it was 10, 15,000. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was around about that. I can't quite remember myself, but it was, I would say around about the 15, yeah, 20. I think it was 15, 20 more like, but yeah. Yeah, no, when I got it, you said, I've knocked that off and I haven't finished yet. And yeah. that, if the member's listening, I don't want to embarrass him. Yeah. So yeah, it was, and that was only on a hundred and five thousand pound build. I remember that figure. Now you're knocking 15, 20 grand off of that. That was phenomenal. So yeah, I'll part that one because the member might be listening. I don't want to.